Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today, um, or I guess yesterday, they released the new balance changes for um, uh, our current Wave 4 of the beta for Fall of Oriath. Now, in this patch, there have been a bunch of new things that have been adjusted, such as power charges, frenzy charges, um, I think some skill gem balancing, unique vendor, there's like a, or well, threshold gen, there's a bunch of stuff. But in this video specifically, why we want to target the new changes to curses. So previously, um, curses used to have an increased amount that they would scale off of. You can see now it's been adjusted to a flat amount of radius. Um, I, I don't remember the exact numerics, but I can show you guys how big the AoE is now. Uh, let me just show you. This is with ink AoE. Actually, I have to remove the blasphemy. Give me a second. Okay, so with ink AoE in, it's pretty much this entire room. So... This covers, um, I have the AoE over here, so I've got increased area of effect at Templar. I've got the Witch AoE. We have, uh, I didn't get Cyan AoE because I didn't bother with it. I have Hexmaster as well, which is area of effect, and then I have an additional 20 AoE from here, and then Leadership. Um, and the full build did actually pick up Champion of the Cause, but that's way too far away for me, so we didn't bother with that. And uh, this was my original Freeze Pulse Scion character, so I want to just restart it and just show you guys since we had a free respec. Alright, let's get a nice little map out here. What's a good map that's like not shit? Dunes. Perfect. Now again, I can't actually do any damage with this spec. <laughs> we just spec'd it a little bit to be uh, support to show what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and pop in a level 19 Blasphemy with our Flame Ability, Ink AoE, Assassin's Mark, Temp Chains. So I'm gonna remove this for a minute. I'm gonna remove the Temp Chains, or sorry, not the Temp Chains, the Ink AoE to show you guys. The new changes to Blasphemy, because it feels good, man. Because this is almost like old Blasphemy, if you guys remember, which is awesome. Like, you can see how far, like this target, all the way over here is being affected by it. Uh, and this actually really makes me happy uh, to go back to the state of like, uh, Blasphemy casters, because Previously, they nerfed Blasphemy by like, I don't know, 70%, and now they probably gave it like a 50% boost, or like maybe like even a 70 to 80% boost. Fuck, they like double the AoE now. The reason why this is important is because, uh, in my opinion, casters often or lack a ton of defenses. Um, they can get high effective life pools, but it doesn't really matter if you can't properly mitigate the damage. So things like Temporal Chains and Enfeeble Blasphemy are going to be very good now, uh, since they are coming back into play. This also may bring rise to some like support characters now that are just quad curses uh, or even penta curses. Now that may be going too far because you know there is still necro support and whatnot. But I just thought it'd be cool to show you guys. Let's also pop in like an ink AOE here, and you can see these mobs all the way in the corner here are still getting affected. Um, let's see if I can run down and see if it shows you guys the AOE on this. We have let's see area of effect 287 percent. Uh, on these curses as of right now and again by removing our ink AOE it goes down to 238 Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys is just keep you guys up to date with the new changes uh, I'll be posting some more new stuff over the next like probably 24 hours. So stay tuned for that Remember if you like the video, please feel free to like share and subscribe and Ruby can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care everybody